What is up, you chucks? Rip Chippers back at you today with another vape video. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Geyser S from a company called Vapix. You know who Vapix is, right? I just reviewed their first product, the first product I've ever seen them come out with, but it's called the Geyser, the 21700. It's a 21700 all in one kit. I can't. I reviewed that last week or it was a week before that, but that dang on thing, man, that 21700 all one kit, the lightest 21700 kit, 21700 mod, it's the lightest 21700 mod that I've ever dealt with. It was that thing that was not only compatible with your 21700s, but also you could use your 18650s. Also came with or had an option to buy a rebuildable pod section, which I still don't have, Vapex. They included a bunch of other stuff in that kit, that Geyser kit. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at the Geyser S. Now, this is a pre production, this has not even come out. I'm one of maybe three people that have received it okay and i'm glad i did because i love that other product that other product was kick-ass this right here like i said pre-production all they sent me was the all-in-one kit with two core heads they didn't even send me a package the final packaging uh-uh they didn't send me the charging cable they didn't send me user guides they didn't send me other pods other this other that just the mod the all-in-one mod with the pod and two core heads that's it this is not even going to be a review it's just going to be a showcase guys going to show you what it's all about vape it a little bit and we out so what's the deal with this puppy chair this guys are s the guys are s has got a built-in 1500 milliamp hour battery and i'm gonna go ahead and say this right now this is just as heavy as the geyser 21700 and maybe even a little bit heavier i know it's made of metal and plastic i just don't know what the metal is i don't know if the metal is that lightweight stuff that the other one's made out of if i were to have to guess i would say zinc alloy because it's a lot well not a lot heavier but for the size it's a lot heavier than the other one i mean this bad man pajama's got some heft to it man it's pretty much the same size as the aegis boost and to me this is heavier than that so yeah she's got a built-in 1500 milliamp hour battery at the top it's got a nice dark see-through refillable pod holds 3.2 mils of juice guys pretty good amount of juice could hold more i'd like to see something like four mils or maybe 4.5 if possible but beggars can't be choosers come on oh yeah and at the top top it's got this drip tip sleeve now it looks like a 510 tip but it's got this little skirt that runs over it now if it were me vapix i would just make this a regular 510 tip no skirt that way all the vapors out there can use their favorite 510 tips but that being said this tip first impressions super comfy i mean it fits good in the lips oh yes all day <laughs> now over here at the top angled a little bit is your fill port got this little silicone plug you just pull it out nice size hole like i said 3.2 mils of juice plug it up and you're good to go on the front of the pod it's got adjustable airflow got that honeycomb airflow like the geyser and it's got this little spinning wheel so you turn it and as you adjust it up it closes off the airflow so yeah this honeycomb airflow it takes up a little less than half the space at the bottom and i prefer the airflow wide open off this thing man oh it's smooth very smooth now it does feel a little bit one-sided if you've been vaping for a while you know what i'm talking about right it doesn't feel like it's all around it it's still smooth though uh, you know what? It's not that bad if you keep the airflow facing up. When I start to turn it, I feel it a lot more. Still good though. Now to get this pod out, all you gotta do is just slide it forward. Slide it forward, it pops right out. You got your connections inside, and as you can see, you got two connections, and you got this like spring-loaded ball. It almost looks like a ball bearing, but you have the bottom of the pod. It's got this little divot for that ball, and basically what that does is it holds it into place, holds everything into place. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but on each side, it's got these little rails. So the rail sections at the bottom of the pod, they connect the rail sections on the mod or inside the mod, and it clicks in. That's how it works. Very well done. This pod barely even moves at all. Great tolerances. By the way, the tolerance for the drip tip phenomenal not loose one bit but yeah below that on the mod you got your fire button at the top and i love this fire button first impressions it's clicky feels so good in the hand i prefer to fire this thing up with the index finger if you turn it around your thumb is touching the adjustable airflow now you can fire this puppy chucker with your thumb but if you do that you're going to drop your finger you can't hold it like this where it's comfortable so if you're a thumb fire you may not like that but if you're an index fire you're gonna like it all these little details man these details matter but the fire button i love it i love the size i love how it protrudes feels good on the finger nice and tactile fire button dig it below that you got a big old screen same screen as the regular geyser but with this you don't have tc settings you don't have curve settings it's just power vapes up to 50 watts 5 to 50 watts and it does round robin dig that it's got your battery gauge below the wattage and then below that you got your coil you got your amps you got your volts and you got your puffs now you can lock this device you can lock it to where you can't adjust the waters but you can still fire it up good feature you can adjust the brightness of the screen like i said it's only got power and personally that's all it uses is power so that's good for me but it may not be for you oh yeah and you could reset the puffs a lot of the vapors out there nowadays love the puff counter it helps them track all their stuff but below the screen you got your up and down button it's all one button positive negative and below the up and down button, you got the USB-C port. I really dig USB-Cs because it charges a lot faster than USBs. That's basically it in a nutshell. Now, I don't know if you noticed this, but where all your function buttons are on the menu screen, the USB-C port is, all around that's plastic. And what wraps around the rest of it is metal. And then at the top, you got the plastic pod. Oh, yeah, at the bottom, it says designed by Vapix Geyser S. Now, if we go back to the pod, you get two coils with this. 2.25 ohm lung hit coils. Oh, yeah, and they're mesh. Both 0.25 ohm mesh coils. Personally, I like that the two coils are the same, and they're both restricted lung hits, baby. I love that. I'm a lung hitter 
there all the way. I'm never going to be doing mouth to lungs. I like my lung hits. I like that restriction feeling. I like that tons of plumage coming out of my mouth. Lung hits all the way. And Vapor, you see this thing. She's a chucking. Airflow smooth as a gravy sandwich. The flavor I get off these coils, phenomenal. The flavor I'm getting off these coils reminds me of the flavor that I get off the Boost coils. You know that pod I just reviewed for Geek Vape? The Aegis Hero? That thing, man. If you missed that video, check it out. Links down in the description. That... <laughs> but the vape quality I get off this is just like that. With this, it's just a different form factor. Oh yeah, by the way, the Geek Vape Aegis Boost Coils are compatible with this. That's another biggie. Because those Boost Coils are super popular nowadays. But I'm going to go ahead and throw this out. Even though I love both the coils that come with this, I'm sure there's a lot of vapors out there that would rather have one of these coils and also an MTL coil. Because think about it. Vapix, I'm talking to you guys. You want to cater not only to the mouth of lunger, but also the lung hitter. You're killing two birds with one stone when you offer both. But like I said, man, I dig it the way it is. So yeah, on this side it says Vapix. And I like the fact that it's very simple. Simple. A lot of these other companies out there put their names all over the products. You just see it once, like that. Another thing I gotta point out, I like how translucent the tank is. Even though it's tinted, it's lighter than the geyser, the original geyser, and I like that. I like how you can see the level of your juice a lot easier. And if we go back to the adjustable airflow ring, or the little dial, it's got some good restriction. I mean, it's on the tighter side, which is good, because when you adjust it, you want it to stay there. Again, tolerances for this all across the board, the drip tip, the fill port plug, the adjustable airflow dial, the way that the pod fits into the mod, tolerances are all great. For a pre-production product, yeah, it's rocking already. As far as price point goes to this puppy chugger, I have no clue. Like I said, pre-production. All I can tell you is if you're 21 years of age or older and you're looking for a vape shop, Google Vape Trick. V-A-P-E-T-R-I-K. Guarantee you Vape Trick will have this down the road. I'm done. That's it. I am out. This is Rip Trippers. And remember, smoking is dead. Baby is the future. The future is now. Later, guys. <laughs>